First, what is mindfulness? It is very simply being present for your life. That's not a bad thing to do, is it? I mean, why miss it? You only, you've only been issued one, as far as we know, this lifetime. So um, don't miss it. And it means knowing what's happening right now without wishing things were different. Or I should say, maybe another way, without grasping or trying to hold on when it's a good moment or without being afraid or pushing away when it's a difficult moment, but simply seeing what's actually here right now. This happens to be, as is said in the teachings that I'm familiar with, the most direct way to overcome sorrow, lamentation, grief, despair, end pain and anxiety, and realize the highest happiness possible. That is the establishment of mindfulness, which is another way of saying a non-judging awareness. Why? How does this work? It works in a couple of ways. First, there's many, many states of mind and qualities of mind that we, are, uh, we have a capacity for. Some of them are pleasant and some of them are unpleasant. Some of them are wholesome or unwholesome. Of all the different qualities of mind, and there are 52 in, uh, in Buddhist psychology, just so you know, that's kind of like the deck that you're dealt. <laughs> not everybody has a full deck, it seems, but, uh, <laughs> but we all do. We all have these capacities. And of all of these different qualities, mindfulness is the one quality that has the property of weakening all the unwholesome states and strengthening all the wholesome states. That's pretty cool. That mindfulness itself increases an open heart, increases Wisdom and clarity increases patience, increases kindness, increases all of those wholesome states, and it weakens states like anger, fear, um, wanting, that mindfulness has the amazing capacity to um, lessen them. So... This is one very direct way to cultivate all of those wholesome states and guard against unwholesome states. It also has the property, when there's a wholesome state that's here, to strengthen it, to amplify it. Just like when I asked you to um, think of a blessing and then I asked you to just get in touch with it, pay, pay attention to it. When you pay attention to the feeling of uplift and gladness, it increases it that much more. Remember when we, we talked about last time, uh, I think I mentioned about Rick Hansen saying uh, the mind is like Vel uh, Teflon for positive experiences and Velcro for negative ones. When you pay attention to a positive ex experience, you're getting more and more into the Velcro end of reality with the positive. And the, the uh, negative ones are becoming more and more like Teflon. So when you pay attention to it, it actually increases it. You're giving it presence and attention. 